Yam Tav! Welcome to the Philadelphia Assemblies. Today is the 19th day of the 11th month of the year 5781 on Yahuwah's calendar. And it's the uh, sixth day of the second month or of February 2022 on the Gregorian calendar. And this is the second letter of Peter or Cephas. Simon Peter, okay, to it does. I mean, it doesn't. It isn't addressed here. We're going to let the scripture read. Well, I'm not going to uh, put any put thing on it that's not in here. Okay. So let's go to Yahuwah in prayer before we continue our expository teaching. Father Yahuwah, we pray that you would. Um, we pray, Father Yahuwah, that you would heal those that are sick. Keep your hedge of protection around those that are not yet sick, Father and send your Ruach to those that have lost loved ones to give them that peace that passes all understanding. And Father, let these be your words and not mine. Give me an extra anointing and, and, and give it the words that you'd have me to speak. And then also, Father, we ask that that Ruach HaKadosh open hearts and minds and teach them what it is you'd have them to know. We ask it all in your precious Son, Yahushua's name. Amen. Chapter 1 of the second letter or epistle of Peter. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle, or sent out one of Yahushua the Anointed One, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of Elohim, our and our Savior, Yahushua the Anointed One. So Elohim being the Father and the Holy Spirit of the Ruach HaKadosh, and our, our Messiah, Yahushua. And it says, grace and peace be... So, and again, he, he's writing to the strangers, as we can read. Uh, here it says, because it says, to them that have obtained like precious faith. So, like the Israelites, or those that are the Hebrew people. So they had attained the same or like precious faith with us, which would be Israel, through the righteousness of Elohim and our Savior, Yahushua, the Anointed One. Grace and peace be multiplied into you through the knowledge of Elohim, or Theoe in the Greek, and of our of Yahushua, our Master, our Anointed One. Verse 3, according as His divine power. Now, Elohim's divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, and Elohim's power is his Ruach, HaKadosh, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue, the knowledge of Yahuwah, that's the one that you have knowledge of, whereby through when are given unto us exceeding, in other words, by that uh, knowledge of the Most High, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises through the Mashiach from the Father, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, which is talking about us becoming spirit, at the first resurrection, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, because that brings on death, which is going to bring on destruction in the end. And beside this, giving all eagerness, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge. Okay? And knowledge, self-control. And self-control, patience. And to patience, being like God or godliness. Verse 7, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things be in you, and abound, and that's through the Ruach, that's how we attain all those fruits of the, of the Spirit, they make you that you will neither be lazy nor unfruitful, okay, in the knowledge of our, Mesh, our Mesh, Meshiach Yahushua, the Anointed One. And again, I was talking about those fruits of the Spirit that we attain through the Spirit. Verse 9, But he that lacks these things is blind, so if you don't have the Spirit in you and you don't have those fruits that it just covered and cannot see afar off and have forgotten that he 
was cleansed from his old sins. So you might have came to Messiah, but if you haven't produced those fruits that he talked about, then you know, you've know forgotten what kind of a man you are and you fell back. Verse 10. Therefore, or uh, therefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling or your election sure or certain. So obviously it's not once saved, always saved, is it? You have to make your election sure or certain. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. If you do these things, but if you don't do these things, obviously the, the opposite is true, you will fall. For so an, an entrance shall be served, uh, supplied okay, unto you abundantly unto the everlasting kingdom of our Curioi and our Savior, Yahushua the Anointed One. So there's two different things going on there. Verse 12, Therefore I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of the things, of these things which those things are written in the Torah, the utterances of the Most High, though you know them and are established in the present truth. Okay, and the truth is in the Torah, the, the Torah, verse 13. Yes, I think it fitting, as long as I am in this body, to stir you up by the putting, putting you in remembrance, knowing that shortly I must put off this body even as Yahushua, uh, as the as the Mashiach, Yahushua, the Anointed One, has showed me. Moreover, I will endeavor that you may be able, after my death, to have these things always in remembrance. He's going to set them straight on all this. For we have not followed cunning, de de cunningly devised fables or stories, when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Mashiach, Yahushua, the Anointed One, the powers, the Father's power through His Spirit, but were eyewitnesses of His Majesty. That could be the Father or Yahushua's Majesty, because He will reign and be King of kings here on earth. For He received from Elohim, He being the Mashiach, received from Elohim, Father from the Father, honor and glory, and when there came such a voice to him, now this is when he was baptized, and the Ruach came down on him in the form of a dove, and the, to him from excellent, from the excellent glory, which is the Father, and said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. You go back and read that. That's when that Spirit came down and remained on him. And this voice, which came from the Shamayim, or heaven, we heard when we were with him in the set-apart mount. Okay, when he saw the in the transfiguration. Verse 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed, or listen, or pay attention, as unto a light that shines in a dark place, because of what the Ruach HaKadosh, that voice, that speaks to them. Until the day dawn, the day star rise in your hearts. Okay? Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is, is of any one man's interpretation. That's, you know, they say private, but everybody's got to be able to read and understand, but it's a no private or one man's interpretation. So everybody comes up with a, a, a different prophecy all the time, then that's not probably a correct one. Verse 21, For the, pro the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but by set-apart men of Elohim, or Theoe in the Greek, spake as they were moved by what? The Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, chapter 2. But there were false prophets also, those that weren't moved by the Ruach HaKadosh, among the people, even as there will be false teachers among you. Better pay attention because there are many out there who secretly, got privily in the King James or the English Bible, will bring in destructive heresies. Okay? And they will to the actual scripture what it says. Don't let anyone tell you when you're reading straight out of the book that you're bringing in uh, secret destructive 
uh, heresies because you're not. Just because they don't agree with their things that don't agree with what's written. Even denying the master that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Okay? And, and again, that one that they're talking about, that master that they're talking about is the most high. They don't believe him. And they, they're they going to be brought into swift destruction when at the white throne judgment. Verse 2, And many will follow their destructive ways. So many people are going to follow, the, follow these uh, these uh, false prophets and their destructive ways, and believe me, they are many that follow them, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. In other words, by those same false prophets, the way of truth will be evilly spoken of. Verse 3, And through greed or covetousness will they with plastic words or, or things that aren't real make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingers not, and their destruction slumbers not. So there, it's coming. Okay, It's going to be at that great white throne judgment. For if the Theos, or Yahuwah, Y-H-W-H, spared not the messengers that sinned, which he's talking about the fallen messengers or angels, but cast them down to Tartarus, okay, which is talking about the pit where Satan's going to be bound, 5020, that's, read that one, that's Tartarus, that instead of hell there, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, held there unto judgment. Now there's not any dead people there, they're in the, in the grave, okay? Uh, that'd be Hades in, in Greek, which is equal to Sheho in Hebrew, which just means the grave. That's where all the dead are but not these fallen angels. Verse 5, And spared not the old world, but saved Noah. So you know that the old world was destroyed by a flood, and eight, and eight people with him, a preacher or teacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Genesis 8:18. 8, and turning the city of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that later should live ungodly. Genesis 19, verse 24. And delivered the just lot, troubled with the filthy behavior or conduct of the wicked that he lived in in Sodom and Gomorrah. Genesis 19, 16. And this has got parentheses, so it was added to the original writings, but it is in the Greek uh, interlinear, so it's been in there forever. For that righteous men dwelling among them and seeing and hearing uh, oppressed his righteous, the righteous person of, uh, of Lot from the day to day with their unlawful or their, law, their, their deeds that were against the Torah. The Kyrios or Yahuwah knows how to deliver the, the godly out of their trials and to reserve the unjust when? To the day of judgment, to be punished at that day when the Ruach is going to rain down out of heaven and create that Gehenna fire that's going to destroy the wicked at the day of judgment. That's that great white throne judgment. But mainly, them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanliness not those that didn't ha understand everything, but they walked in the lust or desires of their flesh. And that could be some people that try to keep Torah too. Despise authority, presumptuous, or self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignitaries of, or authorities. That goes on a lot today too. Whereas messengers, which are greater in power and might, Bring not slandering accusations against them before the master. Okay, and that's curio in this, in this case, which is equal to the mighty one. L. Verse 12. But these that do these things are natural brutes, brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, or vessels fit for destruction, 
speak evil of the things that they understand or that they don't understand and will utterly perish in their own corruption when at the white throne judgment verse 13 and will receive the reward of unrighteousness that's what the reward is penalty for sin is spiritual death as they that count it pleasure to live luxuriously in the daytime spots they are they're all spots and blemishes revealing themselves with their own de deceivings while they fe feast with you so if they're feasting with you that might be some of these people that even keep the feast with you wouldn't you agree having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin enticing unstable souls or unstable individuals people and heart they have ex exercised with covetous practices or greedy practices cursed children which have forsaken the right way and gone as and are gone astray in other words left the Torah and gone astray following the way of Balaam the son of Bezor who loved the wages of unrighteousness, Numbers 22, 5, but was rebuked for his lawlessness, the dumb donkey, okay, or the mute donkey, speaking with man's voice, restrained the madness of the prophet. So he was obviously a prophet, but not a prophet of the Most High. These are wells without water, ones like Balaam. Okay, clouds that are carried away with the storm, to whom the midst of darkness is reserved forever, because that's talking about judgment, okay, and they're, and they're going to be destroyed in the lake of fire. Verse 18, for when they speak great swelling words of vanity or boasting, they are allured through the lust of the flesh, through much unbridled lust those that are truly escaped from them who live in error while they promise them liberty these false prophets like Balaam they themselves are the servants of corruption or destruction for of whom a man is overcome either by the Most High or by Ha Satan of the same as he brought into slavery Many places it talks about us being a slave of the Most High. For after they have escaped the corruptions of the world through the knowledge of the Curioi and our Savior, Yahushua, our Savior, Yahushua, the Anointed One, so two different things, of the knowledge of Elohim and our Savior, Yahushua, the Anointed One, they are again entangled therein with the flesh and the ways of the world, and to overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So again, it's better to have never known the truth and then known the truth and went backwards. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness or the Torah than after they have known it to turn from the holy or set apart commandment, which is every word that proceeded from the mouth of Elohim delivered unto them but it has happened unto them according to the true proverb the dog is turned to his own vomit again and the sow that was washed to her wallow in the mud proverbs 26 11 chapter 3 this second letter beloved i know i now write unto you so obviously he wrote this letter to the same ones he wrote the first letter to and both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, the set about prophets, the ones that are the prophets of the Most High, and of the commandment of us, the apostles, or the, um, the sent out ones of Elohim and our Savior, and. Two different things, Elohim and our Savior, not just one. Knowing this first, that there will come in the last days mockers, they'll mock us to tell the truth, walking after their own strong desires or fleshly lusts, and saying, where is the promise of His coming? 
Messiah said that he delays his coming. So they went and ate and drank with the drunkards and, and fell back. For since the fathers died, it says fell asleep, that means died, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So why not eat, drink, and be merry? Because tomorrow we die. I added that, but that's what that's coming to. Verse 5, For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of Elohim, which is the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of Yahuwah, the heavens, or the Shamayim, were of, of old, and the earth standing out of the water, and the water, and in the water. So, in other words, by the word of Elohim, the, the Shamayim, or the heavens, and the earth were created. Okay? Genesis 1, 2, and 6. Okay? And that's so true. The word of Elohim is the Ruach HaKadosh, or the Holy Spirit. Verse 6. Whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. When? Genesis 6, 17. That's talking about with Noah. But the heavens and the, the Shamayim and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store. In other words, the Ruach HaKadosh is still keeping this world we're in in store or together. Reserved unto fire. In other words, it's reserved unto the fire because when the Father returns and His Spirit rains down, it's going to destroy the earth and the heavens. Against the day, what? Of judgment, the great white throne judgment, and destruction of ungodly men. That's when all that's going to take place. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with Yahuwah as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day, Psalms 90, verse 4. And that's the Messiah's thousand-year reign is going to be like one day. It's a preparation day for, for eternity. So it's coming fast. And then it says, Yahuwah is not slack or lazy concerning His promises, so, as some men count slackness, but as is long-suffering towards us. And isn't that the truth? Because of His love for us, He's long-suffering. He's put up with us. Not willing that any should perish, but He knows they will, and that He will in that great white throne judgment and fire, because at that time He's not going to have any grace or any mercy. But that all should come to repentance. If you didn't come to repentance, you're going into fire. But the day of of the Kyrioi, or Elohim, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the, the Shamayim will pass away with a great noise. Now read that. That doesn't happen at Messiah's return. That doesn't happen until the Father returns. And the elements will melt with a fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein will be burned up. Plain and simple. Seeing then that all these things will be dissolved or destroyed. That's what the word dissolved means. What manner of persons ought you to be in all set apart con con conduct and godliness? Look for the hasty, look for and hasty or hurry into the coming of the day of Elohim. When in the when the heavens or the Shamayim in Hebrew being on fire shall be destroyed and the elements shall melt with a fervent or an intense heat. Verse 13, Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens, or new Shamayim and new earth, which we know that we look for that. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 17, and also Revelation 21, and 20 and 21, wherein dwells righteousness. Therefore, beloved, Seeing that you look for these th for such things, be diligent that you may be found of Him, the Father, the Most High, in peace, without spot and blemish. And account that long suffering of Elohim is is salvation. In other words, He's putting up with us for a long time, and there is salvation through repentance and His Son, the Messiah, even as our beloved Shaul. Also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. So all he's referring to all the letters of Shaul or Paul. Verse 16. As also in all his epistles or letters, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Because, again, people take them out of context. 
Shaul was quoting the Torah all the time. Which they that are unlearned and unstable distort, as they do also the other scriptures under their own destruction. And that's what they're doing. Verse 17, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. That's how they do it. So they fall backward and trapped and snared. Verse 17, you therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware, lest also you being led away with error of the wicked, which is the false prophets he spoke of like Balaam. Fall from your own steadfastness, because obviously he that endures to the end shall be saved, not he that just professes to the end. Verse 18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Elohim, Notice it says, of our Elohim and our Savior, Yahushua, the Anointed One. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. And we hope that someone was edified by the reading of the Word. If you haven't yet subscribed to the Philadelphia Assemblies at YouTube.com, please do so. Again, you're not endorsing everything we teach. Okay, You might not be in full of agreement. But you might enjoy watching our videos, please subscribe. We're trying to hit 200 by the days of unleavened bread, by actually by the first day of April, okay? Or before the first day of April. If everybody would just go get one person, we would double that quick. We're at 103, we're shooting for 200. And if you haven't yet uh, uh, hit that notification bell, make sure you do that. And also share any videos that you like on Facebook and give us a thumbs up on YouTube. May Yahuwah bless until we meet again.